so good afternoon everyone i would like to thanks mr dr hariyom sharan sir to give us their time in our campaign thoughtful leaders so we welcome you sir on our platform thank you sir so dr sharan serving as a dean academic affairs and the dean faculty of engineering and technology at rama university uttar pradesh sir is having a rich experience of 14 years in academic as well as in research his research area is networking artificial intelligence security and high performing computer dr sharan has received his phd in dna computing a novel approach to the solution of complete problems and his ug in btech and mtech in computer science and engineering sir have also done a academic excellence promotes a culture of research and innovation as well as he is expert in designing a development academic curriculum sir we welcome you on our platform thank you very much sir sir we would like to few questions from to gain students more knowledge about rama university and how the rama university is different from their other competitor as well and why students should pursue their career from rama university so sir my first question is to you is you have held the key position in education institutes throughout your professional career what are the key factors that keep you connected to the education sector uh thank you very much uh, for giving me a platform to interact with the audience and uh, uh to describe about my university and my role and what we deliver to our students so for that purpose i would like to say thank you very much see uh if we will if we will talk about thinking uh, overall development of individuals or society or any nation if we will talk about the overall development of all three points individual society and nation then we have to think about education it is only possible through good and right direction of education and there are some key factors why we we are connected with the education sector so my professional experience that's why i indulge with this education sector on the behalf of these factors like it is spreads awareness among everyone every human being it is spread the awareness and connects globally we can connect with you in internationally we can connect with everyone through education only and secondly if we will talk about the key factor of the education connectivity so it helps in progress and to be more productive it also gives a healthier lifestyle it gives empowerment everyone says everyone talks about the empowerment of the human being or uh, empowerment empowerment of the women so many things and so we can empower the person a human being through education in right direction if we will train our uh, human being in right direction through right education so we can empower them so these are the factors that motivates me in my professional career to involve and to serve in education sector so my next question is to you being the dean of rama university what is your philosophy of leadership like how would you describe your leadership style in your professional career uh thank you sir uh firstly uh before going on uh, being a dean of rama university i would like to say about uh, leadership philosophy what is leadership philosophy firstly uh i would like to express my views on leadership philosophy i believe leaders must have a clear and meaningful vision and articulate it clearly to provide direction for the group who are working under a leader and who he or she can serve leaders not to be provide leadership opportunities to anyone for subordinates team members and others to foster growth growth and share responsibility for attaining goals I mean to say we have to uh, capture the people who are working under you and you have to give the direction how they can achieve the goal whatever the target or goal you have set or objective you have to achieve so you have to make our steps and you have to work in that uh, manner only so now i would like to say about like as dean of rama university 
my first and primary responsibility as an education leader to contribute to transfer Rama University from a teaching institution into a learning institution. There is a difference between teaching institution and the learning institution. Most of the universities are working on the basis of teaching in, uh, institution or uh, most of the colleges are working as teaching institution. But my responsibility, we are working in Rama University as Dean to convert teaching institution to the learning institution. So in detail, if I'll talk about the teaching and uh, learning uh, education or learning institutions, the prevailing philosophy in mostly universities and colleges has been the instructions are from where the main goal is to provide instruction to teach this paradigm which emphasize the transfer and deliver the knowledge from faculty to students has provided to ineffective in transforming students why i am talking about the ineffective transformation because once faculty is teaching students getting some of the points, not over all the points, so we will in, live in learning environment. So, if I'll talk about the, on the other hand, about the learning institution, so the main objective of learning institution is to create a learning environment inside the campus to that produce deep learning. I conceive the university itself as a learning learner which must strive to continuously improve the quality of learning for such each member of its community, community being to say students, faculty members, administrative staff, all, are, all over all the persons who are working inside the university campus. So all members can learn and they can work under the quality of learning environment. Therefore, my mission is to create an environment within the department, within the institution of Rama University that brings all constituents to discover the construct knowledge for themselves and to encourage the university to assume responsibility for both institutional learning outcomes and individual student outcomes and the individual faculty outcomes. If I'll talk about my leadership style, so I am committed to democratic facilitative style of leadership. What is a uh, democratic facilitative style of leadership? I envision that all stakeholders, students, faculty, parents, and administration will not only have meaningful contributions to make the educational mission, but each person will become a valued participant of the shared leadership team. This is my leadership style. Yeah. So my next question is to you. What do you see as a Rama University greatest strength? See, uh, if I talk about the greatest strength, so uh, I will talk about the strength of Rama University. Yeah. Like, as we can see about the new education policy 2020 launched by the government in this year only a few months ago. So we at Rama University working by providing academic freedom in the form of choice based credit system cbcs which we followed before last to last years we are following that thing so we provide the academic freedom this is the greatest strength of our university which support to our students and the faculty members also they can growth and they can develop yourself themselves we expose students to intellectually broadening core curricula coupled with training in specific disciplines through applied skill test with value added courses. I mean to say we work on the not only uh, uh, like curriculum based teaching, we provide the skill based teaching so that a student can develop their skills in their discipline in whatever the discipline they are studying so they can develop their uh, skills in their field. So this is our greatest strength, the strengths and faculty members of Rama University address the real problem in incubation center and work on their solution. So these are the basic greatest strengths so that students can overall develop themselves and faculty also. So like student needs to work in the university after that they pursue their career in the industry. So how does the curriculum of Rama University ensure the best practice of industry? 
what are the things right. that uh, is learning a very good question because yeah. of, as technical university and the health industry yeah. we are working in rama university so we have to connect with the industry because of we are producing the students who can work in future for the industry and for the growth of the nations so this is very important thing for any university or for any education organization so at if i'll talk about the rama university rama university is established with the vision of imparting quality education and expanding opportunities to all the aspirants and across all realm of knowledge the employability innovation and research in curriculum design and development at rama university is ensured by we have some uh, factors by which we ensure the things ki we are connected with the industry our curriculum is very well defined and uh, uh, ensured by the industrialist so few points are there we i have to discuss with you uh, like involvement of industry professionals in curriculum development we once we are going to develop the curriculum for any program we call the industry expert specialist for designing purpose so we call the meetings and we every year we conduct the meeting board of studies meeting and the industrious from the specific um, uh, branches or discipline they are the member of our curriculum design and development team we set the benchmark exercise to extract employers requirement mandatory project semester we mandate to each and every student in uh, every semester they will complete the project capstone project in every semester and also be include the industrial training for ug and all pg students we synchronize curriculum with industry practices and needs or and also we conduct the workshops whatever the hands on is going on inside the industry we inculcate those things inside the curriculum and we deploy those uh, ideas and the things through workshops and finally if i'll talk about the uh, support project based learning so we support project based learning skill based learning research based learning exposure based learning experimental tell learning and field work, field work based learning value addition is incorporated in teaching through adding extra session over the above the prescribed syllabus whatever the syllabus we prescribed we uh, give the extra session to the students rather than the curriculum so that they can overall de- uh, develop their skills whatever the requirement of the industry in current scenario we also counsel the students and we are also mentors uh, mentoring the students and rama university interacts with all the stakeholders during the curriculum revision process once we develop every year every year on the basis of current scenario of industry we revise we revise uh, revise all the curriculum and we pro- follow the process same process for that the academic and industry experts are formally invited for seeking their expertise and formally record their feedback therefore i can assure you that curriculum of from university and so the best practice of industry and fulfill the requirement of desired skills among the students thank you nice answer sir it will definitely help our student to know more about the university as well so my next question is to you what do you think your roles and responsibility to the university Sorry? as well what do you think your roles and responsibility to the university as well as for the students Uh, yeah. about artificial intelligence the role of artificial intelligence yeah. uh, right 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 so if i talk about the artificial intelligence when thinking about the future of work what it means for uh, your careers you cannot avoid artificial intelligence and machine learning also because of if we are going to deploy artificial intelligence concept so we have to some use the platform through machine learning or deep learning so many platforms over there we can deploy all the things of uh, artificial intelligence through these concepts so the ease of out- automating various process in any modern organization if i'll talk about the modern organization educational organization or industrial list if i'll talk about industry or education sector so we if we are talking about the automating various processes inside the organization is seen as one of the major factors in realizing the future workplace and artificial intelligence will create 
and facilitate the shift in human capital when it comes to monday day to day transactional task if i talk about the day to day transactional task what is the recurring process we are doing into our uh, uh, operational uh, process of student and the faculty members so we use the transactional task with the shifts there are opportunities and new possibilities for career knowing the ways of ai artificial intelligence will change careers in future will help you to continue building on your skills so that you can continue the thrive in your career there are some models on which uh, like current organization and the uh, career opportunities are based and they are seeking the person who are uh, expert in these things like new models of engagement they are designing the models so that they can engage all the employees of in uh, like of any organization they can create the new models of engagement they working on the more productivity of and efficiency they can enhance they are uh, looking for the efficiency and the more productivity of uh, like if i'll talk about the machine or if i'll talk about the human resources so they are working on the more productivity they also working on the innovative methods of training and development so many training and development method because of inside the educational sector and also the inside the industry training and model development model is most important part because of once new technology comes so we have to train the employee and as well as we have to uh, train to the students who will work in future so innovative methods of training and development it uh, ai will play very important role to develop these things greater control on the schedules whatever the schedule you have fixed like we are talking about like uh, currently in google meet so we can see th- this is also a concept of a control on schedules the emerging of new professions coding and data analysis will be universal we we can write the coding here and you can write uh, you can uh, uh, take the code from there also like we are not working on the same platform but we can take the codes from any other any points so this is a part of ai and it will support and it will help to the development being human will be a skill automated business process and very important thing cobot will be your partner in your near future these these are the your partner and we have to work with that so this is the main important thing on which ai will support in future in workplace sir my next question is to you what would you like to people to know more about your university that they may not know about so many points which i have to discuss with uh, you and uh, all the people who want to know about the rama university so i want to share with you about rama university that is it is more than an education in this university it is a learning environment for self development for a student as well as for staff members I mean to say i am not talking about the university is not an educational university we are education university but we are working on the concept of learning environment that is fruitful for who are working and who are gaining the knowledge or who are the uh like uh, stakeholders of this university rama university they can self develop their uh, they can enhance their their skills through this university and secondly we provide better career prospects how we can provide the better career prospect because we provide the opportunities to the students we can uh, and before providing the opportunities we train to the students in technical terms in analytical skills in soft skills whatever the company or industry required be trained to the student in that manner so that they can face real problem and they can provide the real solution of the real problem of the society of the industry we focus on personal development time also personal development time we focus on because of who are the working for rama university they are the asset of rama university we also provide the personal time personal development time for them so there are so many activities we did we do inside the campus for the staff for the who are working for rama university and who are gaining the knowledge into say students of the rama university 
and also indulge in world opportunity whatever the going on around us and around the world we also indulge our students and the our staff with uh, um, with the world of opportunity we feel great work experience at rama university flexible learning options are available at rama university mean to say it is more important to the people who are in learning phase they have to be flexible option for learning so that's why we at rama university provide the learn flexible learning options to each and everyone either they are stakeholders or the students thank you so my next question is to any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students in rama university or another okay. students as well uh if i talk about the youth currently we can see our youth is uh, in is a uh, undirectional so we have to provide a direction right direction to every youth who are looking for their 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 bright career so there are number of points on which the youth or the aspiring students they have to look on that they have to work on that so that they can if they will work on those points whatever we will discuss they will definitely get the succeed in their life in positive manner firstly if i'll talk out make a list of opportunities available as per their eligibility and choice whatever the suppose they had completed their 10 plus 2 they had completed their graduation or pg so firstly after the completion of their basic education either 10 plus 2 or graduation or the pg they have to make a list of opportunities as per their caliber as per their eligibility as per their availability and also they have to keep in mind their choice this is the first point on which they have to work because of if they are not enlisting the things opportunity opportunities whatever they will get they will do on that and they will get frustrated in near future so that's why they have to uh, keep in the mind their choice their eligibility their comfort zone and their skills also so as per their they have to prepare their list and also the youth they are thinking about job only they are thinking about the services they are thinking about the job only but here my suggestion or my um, to advise to the youth they don't think in terms of job only job only they don't think in terms of job only they have to think in terms of skills they have to work on their skills once they are skilled they will get succeed in terms of entrepreneurship in terms of job whatever they want and that is we can see today's scenario youth is like not reading much they have to read as much as can like how much they are reading whatever they will read they will get benefited with the reading don't just do the something because your friends are doing this is the main important point on which youth have to work they my friend is working this they are they are doing this so i will do also this thing don't make this don't just do the something because your friends are doing try to be open minded and question everything whatever is going around us we have to keep in mind we have to observe very sharply and question everything so that you can develop yourself or whatever the in, uh, is going on in, uh, around you sense of entrepreneurship to succeed in today's workforce as we can see that uh, pandemic area is going on so many things are gone uh, like therefore there is opportunities also we have to see any problem whatever the problem is going on we have to see as opportunity we have to look for opportunity and if you are having a sense of entrepreneurship they definitely will succeed in any workforce 
therefore i told you regarding don't think in terms of job only think about in terms of skills therefore after that you can sense yourself in terms of entrepreneurship and uh, lastly i would like to suggest to you about meta knowledge and emotional intelligence if you are everyone is working on meta knowledge mean to say knowledge about knowledge they are getting the knowledge they are deploying their knowledge definitely they will get succeed in their whatever they want so they have to work on their meta knowledge and also emotional intelligence because of once you are intelligent then you have to be emotional intelligence because of once you are uh, emotional intelligence you will uh, burn or you will keep the things in value because of every human having a value every asset having a value so we have to respect to the value and that's why it comes through the emotional intelligence so these are the main uh, basic suggestions to youth and the aspiring students they can if they they will work on these points definitely they will get succeed so my last question is to you you have talk about skills that students should definitely focus on skills not just to get the job so do you have any extra curricular activities programs to enhance the skill of the students or to expose them to the real world challenges like uh, whatever i suggested and whatever i discussed right now and uh, we are the learning environment we are we had created the learning environment inside our university campus so we also organize so many extra curricular activities so that the student will get benefited and uh, they will develop overall we can feel the overall develop inside the student side and the employee also who are working inside the rama university we have uh, so many extra curricular activities some of them from there like uh, firstly i would like to say like uh, as you said extra curricular activities is the main uh, main uh, play a key uh, key uh, important role to improve their themselves their attitude their uh, uh phenomena whatever they want to implement so extra curricular activities give a refreshing break to the students and enhance the critical and creative thinking once the student after uh, completing their graduation or the pg they work in the society or in the industry sometimes they face a problem which never faced earlier so if they are involved in the extra curricular activities they can easily handle that type of problem they can think creatively and they can uh, solve the particular problem at that time and also they can develop the the social skills which is very much required in this time of era with confidence so we organize extra curricular activities at rama university like tag month and we organized we organize the tag rachna we arranges the export lecture in the uh, ex, uh, dome in their in the dome discipline in the domains whatever the domains they are studying we in, con, uh, we organize the workshops we organize the sports fiesta cultural events we organize conferences we organize international conferences we organize so many international conferences every department organize every year international conference organize the works of industrial tour we organize we organize the industrial training also we organize and also we practice our students real world research uh, in the in whole world what in that in like in the uh, discipline the research is going on we aware the our student whatever the research going in their discipline we aware them practical real world research program through and also we run the program stimulate our real world experience, experience mean to say once the student completed their course they will go inside the market and they can face the problem whatever they going on so they can feel the real world experience and convert into the case study and provide the solution these are the some of the activities extra extra curricular activities why which student can overall develop inside the rama university and many more we have Sir, thank, thank you so much for your time and your thoughts. 
for the students to gain more knowledge and to gain more perspective about the rama university what are the key factors of rama university thank you so much for your time sir thank you very much sir thank you